everyone, Sophia here from my great challenge. Welcome back to my channel. This is episode four of Fly Lady with me, in which I go through the entire process of the Fly Lady system. So, so far, what have we done? Let's recap. We've shined the sink, that was baby step number one. The second video, I gave you all of the other baby steps, including your morning and your PM routine, and with the most important baby step being dress up to shoes every morning, make your bed every morning, do your laundry one load a day every day, and the swipe and swish of your bathrooms, okay? so. We should be doing this every single day, all right? And then the third video was the control journal, which I've already introduced to you with just the basic morning and evening routine and how you scratch them off. We're going to build on this particular control journal as we go along, okay? Because I don't want anybody to be overwhelmed and I know this gal here doesn't want to be overwhelmed like I did the last time around. Fly Lady basically, once you've done these routines and they have become habits, it takes 27 days. At that point, you start doing the zone cleaning. And I'll do a video just about the zone cleaning and then I'll do a video every day, hopefully, <laughs> when we get in the zone. So we'd like to be able to jump in into the zone cleaning immediately, right? Well, the problem is that we have clutter in the home and that is my biggest problem, is that there's hot spots and clutter everywhere in every room and what I do most of the time and if you've watched the channel for a while you know that I end up taking the clutter from one room I move it to another room where it stays and then I get this room perfectly clean and then a week later that room is messed up again and the room where I left the clutter the last time is even worse than it was before I brought in that clutter so now I gotta clean this room and what do I do I take the clutter from that room and I bring it back to the original room it makes no sense whatsoever and that is how we get overwhelmed the problem here is that and she says it and I've talked about it in I think in the second video that bottom line is that we cannot organize clutter clutter is just that it's clutter all right it's stuff that's everywhere that has no use or purpose whatsoever or if it does have a use and a purpose it is not in the right place okay so for instance um school books should not be in the kitchen bills should not be in the kitchen they should be either in a control journal or in your bill binder if you have one or in your office all right they should not be next to your bedside table um what else well i don't know like the gs from the kids has no business being in the laundry room you get the point. We have clutter and stuff everywhere. And we live in a society, let's face it, YouTube makes us buy a lot of stuff. Well, not just YouTube. We buy a lot of stuff too, this girl in particular. And you know that you've seen it, okay? There's constantly something new being brought into the house, but nothing really comes out of the house, all right? So when you follow the Fly Lady system and you do all of your baby steps and your basic routines, and those have become habits, before you get into the zone cleaning, you have to declutter the house. You have to declutter every room in your house. And she has a healthy way to do it, which I'm going to demo for you today in this video. It's not about being overwhelmed. It's doing it chunks at a time, five minutes, 15 minutes, or one hour. And then there's another thing she calls the 27 fling boogie, which I'm also going to explain and demo in this video. Okay. so. Why do you do it this way? Well, because if you start the zone cleaning, you're basically going to spend most of your time, instead of actually doing zone cleaning, you're going to move clutter. So you have to get the clutter out of the way. And it doesn't matter how long it takes. You're not on the timeline here. If it's going to take you two months to declutter your house, then it's going to take you two months. During those two months, all you're going to do is your basic p.m. and a.m. routine. You're still going to clean your sink. You're still going to swipe and swish your bathroom. You're still going to do a load of laundry a day and you're going to do your basic cleaning. You make your bed and you pick up your clothes for the following day. All of those that we talked about in video number two, you continue to do that the entire time you're decluttering. Before you get into the grandiose zone cleaning idea, you gotta declutter your house. Just like I demonstrated to you in the swipe and swish technique for the bathroom, if your counter had stuff everywhere, don't declutter that. Move it to the side, 
swipe your sink, do a little bit on the mirror and then do your toilet and then if you can you do your shower and every day you do that. Every day spend five minutes decluttering your counter. Don't go in your bathroom or in your kitchen and spend two hours decluttering for the purpose of cleaning your sink. Just move the stuff out of the way, clean your sink. That's what you do now. Okay, and then you can do the rest. Then you can declutter in little sessions at a time. They add up. Before you know it, your whole house is decluttered. So right now I have to trust the process that I need to declutter the house before I do the zone cleaning. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna start the declutter. And there's four ways of decluttering. It's all time based. You use the timer. You have a timer on your phone, everybody has. If you don't, use the timer on your kitchen um, stove. If you don't have that, I'm sure there's something that can keep track of your time. Maybe you have a laptop, an iPad, whatever, but you have to have a timer. You're going to go around your house and that's what I'm going to do with you today and we're going to determine what is a five minute declutter, what is a 15 minute declutter, and what is a one hour declutter. So find a house spot in your house that is maybe a five minute or a 15 minute declutter. Set your timer and just work on that spot. Don't get sidetracked, that's all you do. If the timer goes off before you're done, you stop. If it's not finished, it's not finished. Move on to something else. Five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minute session. Then if you're going to do a one hour session, let's say you have a very, very large room with a lot of stuff. Usually it's the craft room or maybe a child's room or maybe it's your laundry room or your basement. Whichever one you believe to be a one hour, you're going to work for 15 minutes and take a five minute break. Then work for 15 minutes, take a five minute break and work for 15 minutes, take a five minute break. During that five minute, don't do anything. The only way to do this is by doing it without being overwhelmed. And most of the time we just kill ourselves. I know I do. We kill ourselves on this particular area of our home. It could take us two hours, three hours, sometimes the entire day just to do this one area. And we crush and burn. Let's not do that anymore. We're going to take breaks and break it into chunks. So you do five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or you can do a one hour session with breaks every 15 minutes. And then there's the 27 fling boogie. What is this nonsense? 27 fling boogie. Well, it's very easy to understand. It takes 27 days to make a habit and you can easily find 27 things to get rid of. And we're not talking about things that need to be relocated. We're talking about things to get rid of. So what she wants us to do is take a big box. Remember the one box challenge? I'm putting the link above. It's pretty much the same concept. You're just gonna take a box and you're gonna go around the house or around one area and you're going to find 27 things to get rid of. Remember, you do that until you declutter your house. And only once you're comfortable with how decluttered your house is, then we'll go into the zone cleaning, okay? So let's get started. I'm going to tackle five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes task. And I'm also going to do a 27 fling boogie just to show you how it works. And then it's your turn to do it. So let's get started. I'm going to start with an easy task. This is going to be what I think, uh, five minutes or less. And that's basically emptying one of my purses. There's stuff that I leave in my purses at all time, uh, even though I put them back in the closet, only because these are the purses that I um, rotate when I go to work. And there's some stuff that I just don't want to move from one purse to the other. An example would be, um, let me see, inhalers that I have in there, they always stay in the purses that way I don't have to move my inhalers and then pens and things like this. So this is less than five minutes, but I'm still gonna put the timer on to five minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and empty my purse. I'm telling you, baby step, you just start with easy stuff. Here we go. It's done and it took less than five minutes, only took four minutes. So I always need to have backup pants and then I have a lipstick and a little perfume I put in there and then you saw that I put my spare um, respirators and whatnot, inhalers in there. So this is ready to go. This was a five minute task. 
magazines this is another five minute test so you see basically you just do five minute tasks for now and then you can move on to doing a five minute task and then a 15 minute task and then another five minute task take breaks in between bottom line is that what you want to do is declutter as much as you can and you work as fast as you can and you do not stop during the process so i'm going to declutter the magazines that should be taking me less than five minutes starting the timer and off we go So I still have two minutes left and I'm done you see less than five minutes these are the magazines that I'm keeping I'm keeping the vintage style because I really like it the country sampler love it this one is in French um, that's a Christmas one I'm keeping that I'm keeping all of my country living and my HGTV magazine so these I'm keeping and then all of these here I am not keeping so I have uh, two issues of real simple this is one of the free magazines that you get at the supermarket um, in my area I did nothing with it so I'm not keeping it and then this one is so old um, I think it's from last year so I can let that go home tours I can let that go flea market style um, this is old from last year this one is from last year I'm letting that go all of these here I'm letting go of what I'm going to do is bundle them up I'm going to make sure I remove the tag with my address on it and that's going to go either to work or to the nearest nursing home because I do have peeps in nursing homes so they can use some of those and again this was less than five minutes so you see I am not overwhelmed and I can keep on going on so you see the goal here is to do a little task one at a time five minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes and then if you need to an hour breaking in every 15 minutes so that you don't become overwhelmed we all have five minutes okay so if you really are overwhelmed right now just do five minutes in the morning and five minutes in the evening or if you can do five minutes in the morning and 15 minutes in the evening do that but the goal is to gradually get rid of your clutter. It's just like the weight loss that I'm going through right now. It's a half a pound at a time. At the end, it still adds up to 15 pounds and eventually 20 pounds and then the 40 pounds that I want to lose. You are not racing. Now, if, of course, if you have family coming over and you want to do a marathon cleaning, do that. What you do in that case is that you do 15 minutes in one area, then you move to another area and you go do 15 minutes somewhere else and you just keep on rotating so that way you don't get overwhelmed by being in the same area. My timer is going off. Let me find a 15 minute task. Another tip that I found uh, reading the Fly Lady book was what do you do when you have a hot spot? Well she says that basically if you have a hot spot it's obviously because you have a convenient place to put stuff in okay or to just deposit or drop off whatever. Well you think it's convenient but it ends up being a hot zone and it may not necessarily be in the area of your house where you want that hot zone to be. For instance the dining room. My dining room always have hot zones. I'm going to show you one which I showed you in the video number two but we're going to look at it again and it's this spot right here I have this little table um, my round table with my uh, federal lamp and that is because I'm always working here in my dining room I always have stuff here so this is a mumble jumble of a whole bunch of stuff that really doesn't need to be here none of this needs to be here it's bills it's uh, uh, a bunch of credit cards pens of course because you know there's a house of pens there's some magazines there's a notebook some training material from a training I went to that doesn't belong here should be brought back to the office so what she recommends you do is that once you've emptied out a hot spot if you don't want this area here to be a hot spot again put something there a vase, a plant, um, a stack of books, a decorative item, whatever you want, so that that space doesn't become a hot spot again. And I'm going to show you what I did on the other side. So you know we're in my dining room and I have this very large buffet here and this area right here on top has always been a hot spot. So what I did is this. I went to TJ Maxx and I got a very inexpensive tray and two picture frames which you can tell I have not put pictures in yet but that's neither here nor there eventually there'll be picture there and I got this little decorative uh, faux uh, succulent and this is just a little trinket box that I had with the uh, souvenir rock that I'm putting in and then my two little uh, spray that are um, room fragrance so I put that right here 
at the corner of my large um, buffet in my dining room so that there is no more space here for a hot spot. This is where there used to be anything from hats, umbrellas, uh, receipts, my purse, um, you name it would land over here. So I removed everything. I did a 15 minute declutter. Actually, I think it took me less. And instead I have this little tray with pictures. So that way, when I come home, this is no longer a hot spot. Obviously I gotta put the stuff somewhere else. How about we put it where it belongs? So now let's go back to this. I'm going to clear up this space. I believe this to be a 15 minute um, declutter session. Maybe more, I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do is sit at the table comfortably with my coffee and I'm just gonna go through everything. If I find a bill, it's gonna go in my control journal, in my bill and budget section. Everything else that doesn't belong here needs to be relocated where it belongs and I'm gonna count the time to go and put it back where it belongs as part of the 15 minutes, okay? So here we go, we have the dining room and I am armed with my control journal. I'm going to open it to bills. And you see, I haven't started it yet. Why? Because I needed to declutter that. So now the bills are gonna have a place to stay. They're all going to go in there and what I'm doing is that I have a three hole puncher with me and I'm just going to bring this stuff over here and over here, move my coffee right there. Okay, uh, I don't know if you can see it. You probably want to see the big pile of stuff as it goes down. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's do this. All right, so. I think this is 15 minutes and then this one here, the little one, is probably even less than that. But I tell you what, I'm going to need this container here um, to bring back stuff upstairs. So I'm going to dump whatever is in here, over here, and I'm going to put this over there. So that way when I know I have things that need to go back to the office, I will put them in there and I can just carry that. And then I'll decide what I want to do with either containers because that's my biggest problem in this house is containers and baskets. And I know I had a basket relapse, but by the way, I got to remember to show you the pantry when we're done with this video because the pantry is exactly the way it was when I did it. It's been maintained. All right, so I'm going to start by putting the timer on 15 minutes and you work until it rings. If it rings before you're done, you put the stuff to the side, you go empty out and trash whatever you gotta trash, and you'll go back to it at a later time. But don't continue, that's the point, don't be overwhelmed. Let's start. bills are here. There's a lot of repeat in there because it's actually a three medical bills that we are to pay and they keep on sending us reminders. So they're all in here. Eventually I'm going to spend five minutes resorting them and getting rid of the duplicates. This has to be relocated. These pens and this glue and the battery, they're going to go in the um, junk drawer. The glass is going to go in the dishwasher. My coffee, I'm keeping it. And all of this here is trash. It's all uh, stuff that I don't need. These two magazines, they actually need to go in the bundle that I made earlier. And then the rest is just paper that I uh, sh need to shred or cut a little bit more. And I'm also getting rid of this. So I have um, <clears throat> a little bit under one minute. I'm just gonna keep going because I said I was gonna do this for 15 minutes. These magazines here I am keeping. They're going in a basket from earlier. And then I'm looking at the stuff I have on the table here. This stuff here, I know I don't need it, but that's um, an old schedule. And then this stuff here, same thing, I don't need it. Fabulous catalog from Haviland, I need to look at it. I'm gonna keep that. A sock, Willie, your sock hey. in your hamper. So that's it, 15 minute task, guys. We can all do that. Let's look at the hotspot and what it looks like now. I got this mitten the other day at TJ Maxx. It's one of those microfiber kind of chenille on one side, and then on the other side is a polishing cloth. I'm going to test it out. I have 
my Swiffer, what is it? The one that I really like, the uh, Dust and Shine, and that's the Lavender Comfort. I really like this. So I'm going to try this thing and see whether or not it makes it easier to dust. Because basically you just use your hand and you grab the items. I think I like it better than what I've been using before because it gives you more control and it allows you to go in the nooks and crannies. So this, however, needs to be polished a little bit. So I'm going to go and add a little bit more of this. I'm going to flip the mitten the other way. Uh, this is nice because it's a microfiber on the other side. I'll put the link down below if you guys want to find your own. Okay, great. Alright, this is done. So what do I do now to make sure that this spot right here doesn't become a hot spot again? I gotta put something on there to remind me that this is not a hot spot. Alright, so this is really more symbolic than anything else. This is just to remind me not to use this as a hot spot. Eventually, as you create the habit, you will know that this is not a hot spot. But for me, who's very challenged in this area, if I see an empty space, obviously I gotta fill it up but also it becomes a hot spot. So this is going to be my kind of like signal that I'm not putting anything else on this table. And what I did is that I just went around the house for things that would fit on this. Ideally, I like to have a plant, but I'm not gonna go out and spend money on buy a plant now. I wanna find the perfect plant because there's not a lot of light here. Anyway, a succulent, something, I don't know. It doesn't matter, something that's kind of pretty. Um, bottom line is that I put my um, Napoleon bust right here and then these are the knives that we have that are stick knives so we can keep them here instead of having them in the drawer. Again, this is just to remind me not to put anything on this table. If you are very disciplined, you probably emptied out the spot and you tell yourself I'm not going to put anything on this spot anymore other than decorative item or plant when I get to it and you're able to leave that empty spot for a long time. Me, it's a challenge, okay? So I have to do things like this to just remind me visually that this is no longer a hot spot. Eventually, as I work the system and I'm getting much better at it and I've created habits, then I can remove this piece and maybe I can even remove this piece here and you never know, maybe one day I'll remove the table altogether. But for now, I'm just creating this system here to remind me that this is not a hot spot. So I took a break and change the tablecloth on the dining room, put my centerpiece back on, and this is where I sit, okay, and then the kids sit over there, Scott sits there, and then we always have a guest who sits over here. And I put a sticky note right here where I see it that says, this is not your office. Now, the fly lady recommends that you use sticky notes throughout the house as reminders for things. Um, I should probably put one right there that says this is not a hot spot, but I kind of know that already. This space right here, is definitely no longer an office neither is the kitchen so yeah i'm gonna keep this here until i no longer need it and that's fine um do what you gotta do guys like seriously i need all the help i can get and sticky notes may help me i don't know so i still have a few hot spots in the dining room i have this one right here that's left over from disney when was that like two weekends ago okay so that needs to be decluttered it's going to take less than a minute and then i have another disney thing here that needs to be decluttered as well so i'm just going to take them both and they're going upstairs willie is going to be in charge of bringing them in their respective rooms take that out of the way and then refill the uh, paper towels for dinner kind of dust a little bit even though you're not supposed to clean but I might as well since I'm doing my cleaning today anyway and then reboot the um, scent diffuser so I'm done decluttering um, the dining room and this is really all I'm keeping the cookie jar dog went back in the kitchen I have the um, brief whatever eucalyptus going on in the oil diffuser this area here I'm running out of paper towels so obviously I know I have to get new paper towels and then I kind of dusted this area and then over here I removed this this was plugged over there and this is the extension cord I use to plug in my computer on my laptop because I do a lot of editing on this table and I bring the computer in the evening and whatnot and I'm not going to do that anymore because as you remember this is not an office so 
if I remove this, hey Ed, oh. <laughs> if I remove this, I cannot that. plug in my computer, therefore I cannot work here. Whatever it takes, I tell you. Now what you don't want to do is confuse decluttering with cleaning, okay? I'm cleaning at the same time because it's Sunday and it's the day I clean the house. So I still have to do the cleaning while I'm decluttering. If your house is fairly clean and you just want to go ahead and start doing just the decluttering, that's fine. You don't have to worry about that. But me, I only clean on the weekend up until now. After that, I'm going to start the zone cleaning. So there's not going to be uh, weekend cleaning anymore. You'll see. Weekends are off, pretty much. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is find a 30-minute task, um, just to demo. And I have a very easy one to do because it's the living room, which is a complete wreck right now. I'm going to get rid of everything, including Willie. And now I'll keep him. He's cute. Um, so I'm just going to do the uh, living room. And I'm going to give you a before and after because this video is going to be way too long if I keep on doing the fast motion and all of that. So I'm going to give you a glimpse of the living room. Really, really bad. I'm going to put the timer on 30 minutes and I'm gonna, just going to do 30 minutes on the living room. And, you know, dust a little bit and sweep. I'm not going to mop, nothing like that. Just to kind of declutter it, obviously, for 30 minutes. So now when I'll do the 27 fling boogie to show you, I'm just going to go around the house again and find 27 things to get rid of. And you do that as long as you need to do it. If you need to do it every day, do it every day. It doesn't matter. What you want is get your house to a point where you no longer need to declutter you just maintain and you know clean up your five minutes hot spot whatever and then you do that until you're comfortable enough and you're ready to start the zone cleaning again don't start zone cleaning and I didn't even explain it yet but don't start zone cleaning until your house is decluttered and you feel confident enough that you can maintain a routine and you're not going to spend two hours decluttering every weekend before you can even get the broom out of the closet all right, so here's the living room. We have Willie's karate bag. Karate a bag, which is supposed to be where? I don't know. I really don't know. Put it in your room. Uh, we got a leftover instruction here for the um, what is this? What do you Kindle, call this? Kindle Fire TV. The Kindle Fire TV. That was one of Scott's birthday gift. Okay, we got an empty basket. We have a uh, busted T-shirt. We have uh, Willie. We have Willie's. Yeah collection of empty drinks over there. They're Every, not all empty. Oh, that's even better. What do you call those blankets that need to be taken upstairs? And then we have sunglasses. Who did this drawing? Me. You did that? Yes. That's pretty good. It's blue. Okay, I gotta start getting your frames. Uh, that's your laptop? Uh -huh. Where does it go? In your room. All right, so you know what to do, right? I got this over there that needs to be clean. This is uh, stuff we bring in for the uh, fireplace. And then the usual assortment of nonsense. Okay, so this is always clean, that corner over there. You know why? Because nobody sits on the sofa. That's why. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to clear this up. It's probably going to take me less than 30 minutes. So I'm going to do 15 minutes and then see where I'm at and then continue if I'm not done. I'll come back when it's done. Okay, let me set the timer and get started. So look guys, I still have 11 minutes left and this is what I was able to do. The whole living room has been decluttered and I even had time to dust. No help, just by myself and it's done. See, it doesn't take long. So now what do we do once this has been somewhat decluttered um because there's still stuff i want to get rid of in this room what do you do moving forward you have um your stuff put back where it belongs and you don't want it to go back to what it used to be so this is what the fly lady recommends we do moving forward um you've decluttered your room and you've kind of like cleaned it a little bit but never mind the fact that she says don't clean while you declutter okay um i'm doing it because it's sunday and it's my cleaning day so i have to do that at the same time otherwise i'll never get this house clean so what do you do once your room is satisfactory like you you're happy with the way it looks well all you have to do is that you are going to spend five to 15 minutes every night to just do a quick once over 
pull out the stuff um, that doesn't belong there, you know, like the hot spots again, or the hot zones, and, you know, just put it back to where it belongs and get the room to look exactly the way it was when you found it in the morning. Okay, so basically every night you're spending 15 minutes to just do a once over your house, just putting things back in order. That way you don't get overwhelmed, it doesn't get totally out of control, and I know it's easier said than done when you have kids and you have two uh, people working in the house, but I'm going to try this and I will put pictures on the Facebook page to show you that I've been maintaining and to encourage you to doing the same. So now we've done five minutes, 15 minutes and 30 minutes cleaning. I'm not gonna do an hour cleaning because I have to go to a supermarket and do other things um, today before the end of the day. But you get the idea. When you do the 30 minutes, when you do the um, one hour cleaning, you do it by 15 minutes increments. You do 15 minutes, take a break for five, 15 minutes, take a break for five, 15 minutes, take a break for five, and that is one hour. If you really want to do another hour, take a long break in between, don't get yourself overwhelmed is the point. Okay. Kids sneaking. Okay. Um, so now what is the 27 fling boogie? I'm going to go real quick on that. I'm not going to show you the process. Basically you go around your house and you find 27 things to get rid of. They got to get out of the house. Okay. And you keep doing that until you have your house decluttered to a level where you are happy with what your house looks like. So I'm going to put everything in one spot here in the corner of my dining room. And then I'm going to do that. Uh, you work as fast as you can. There's no timer for this particular challenge. If you want to put a timer on it, do it it doesn't matter just get 27 things but you got to work as fast as you can and you got to just keep doing it don't take breaks just 27 things little things big things it doesn't matter 27 things you don't want in your house anymore it's the 27 fling boogie i'm going to start right now and then i'll come back and show you what i got rid of Whew, i'm done I worked as fast as I could, didn't make much decision, and I got rid of 27 things. You want to check it out? Let's go. Here we go, guys. We're in the corner of my um, dining room, and these are 27 things I'm getting rid of. And what you do is that you do your 27 fling boogie as long as you need to do it to get rid of all the stuff and the extra stuff in your house that you no longer want. So what did I get rid of? Getting rid of two baskets. You probably remember them. They were um laundry downstairs finally getting rid of this frame i said i was going to do something not with the painting but with the frame forget it not going to happen it's been here five or six years never did anything i'm getting rid of this um poster here that's framed getting rid of this uh stool thing um because i got it at a garage sale and then a part of it fell off and um i got rid of the part without knowing what it was and now i can't use it so it can go getting rid of this plastic container I have a uh, one of those uh, smell thing uh, renews it that I hate the smell so I'm getting rid of um, a lonely uh, jar that's gonna go in recycle um, pieces from the old bed that can go this plastic tray hate it don't need it it can go um, I had six of those I only need three so I'm getting rid of that getting rid of an old candle I don't care for this um, oil heater does not work, so it can go. I'm getting rid of Scott right here. I've had it with him. <laughs> Sorry, babe. You're keeping the dogs? Yeah, no, I'll keep the dogs over you. No, I'm kidding. Love you. <laughs> Next, I'm getting rid of this here, this lantern. Um, I don't need it anymore. I, it used to have a fake candle. I used it with real candles, and then you know what? I said I was going to change my living room decor to lighter colors, so everything black or that doesn't fit in the white, yellow, and aqua color, it's got to go. So this has got to go. I'm um, getting rid of all this stuff here. This, whatever that is, this plant stand, I found it on the street. It's been in the corner of my dining room for ages. I no longer want it. It can go back. A friend of ours gave us a, a gift, um, and it came with the, um, what do you call it, the bag. And I did recycle the um, paper I'll show you uh, on my um, control journal. So I used that for the cover. I'm getting rid of a red pillow and then I have a dog toy thing that rotates. Alright, it's supposed to be a puzzle. The dogs figure it out in less than 10 seconds. So obviously this is 
stupid thing. It, it, I thought it was going to entertain them for a while, and it didn't at all. After 15 more seconds, the food was gone, so it's a stupid thing. That goes in recycle. An old bag of really, really stale kisses um, that can go. This is a charger for camera we no longer have, and a sample of the fabric from um, the pillows that I have in the living room. I do not need it. So that is 27 things I am getting rid of. Okay, so that's it you guys. Uh, this is the decluttering following the fly lady system. So again, you do five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or one hour sessions. But if you do the one hour, you want to break it into three 15 minutes with a break of five minutes in between and then move, you know, from zone to zone. Um, or from room to room, okay? And um, what you want to do moving forward again is to completely declutter your house before we start doing the zone cleaning. So I'm going to continue to do um, the 5 minutes, the 15 minutes, the 30 minutes, the 1 hour, and the 27th thing boogie for the next, um, for probably for the rest of April. So you're going to see a lot more. <laughs> Scott is, I can't see you. <laughs> they can't see you. He's scoofing off. What? Oh, yeah, they can. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I'm going to continue to do that throughout the rest of the month of April and then the beginning of May we'll start the um, zone cleaning. The reason why I'm doing it is because I want to start with zone one. I don't want to um, start in the middle of the zones, okay, so that way everybody's on the same page. So that gives you the next two weeks to go through the routines, the AM and PM routines, and the shine your sink, you know, the dress to shoes, and make your bed, and pick up your clothes for the following day, what's for dinner in the morning, one load of laundry a day, and then the little five minutes and 15 minute declutter that you do in the evening, okay? So, and of course the decluttering through all of the steps that I showed you today. So let's just clutter our house before we start doing the uh, zone cleaning, okay? Give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new and want and don't want to miss another video in this series. And also visit my Facebook page at My Great Challenge and post pictures of your progress, whether it's your five minute declutter, your before and after pictures, your sink, your uh, swipe and swish. I don't care, just post pictures just to remain accountable, okay? I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Bye.